Hi, so I'm joining you back. I've done three repeats of step two, of um, part two, and I've done the mini eyes. If you have a look on my channel, there will be a tutorial for those. Um, if you're doing the larger one, the pattern for the larger eyes is also on my channel. And we're going to start the, doing the de decrease now. So I finished that last blue row all the way around and finished at the point where my red thread is ready for my increase. Now this is where it goes a little bit different and a little bit trickier because we're going to start decreasing um, to make the bottom of the ha hoo. So we've got a lot more decreasing to do. So I'll make my last blue stitch, which I'd left because obviously I need to change to red. So I'll pull that one tight. So I'm going to do my increase into the next stitch. And usually we decrease the stitch before the red. But on this one, because we want to start decreasing, and obviously we're increasing and then one decrease keeps it the same number, but we need to increase and decrease twice to make it shrink. So I'm going to do my decrease here at this side and then double crochet along. Just checking I've got the right stitch. Let's see if I can hold my hook the other way. Oops. Managed to get a new phone holder, so hopefully it might be a little bit better, although I keep knocking it. Might need to put it the other side next time because I'm left-handed. Didn't really think about that. So that's going to be my red one. So I'm going to decrease of those two. So we'll do that one. Got my invisible decrease there. Change back to red. And then increase. Ooh, nearly forgot to change. And then I'm going to decrease in the first two stitches for the blue. Oops. And double crochet across. And then decrease just before those next red increases again. And then I'm going to continue round doing that. So I'm count back, so that's going to be my red one. So this is my decrease. Get off. So that's my decrease. And then change back to red. Pull it tight. And do my red increase. And I'll say I'm going to continue that all the way around. So I'll catch up with you. Ready for the next row. So I've gone all the way around and I'm at the point where I've just changed to red, ready to start on the next row. So it's just as before, I've just done my decrease where we increase into the first red stitch. Oops. double crochet in the rest of the red stitches so it's just one on this row 
and then double crochet into the first blue stitch and get the hook in and change to blue. So we're going to continue with this pattern of decreasing at each end of the blue. So I'm going to do a decrease in the first two stitches. Oops. Or across the first two stitches. I'm really glad at this point that I decided to do a tutorial with a 1.5 millimeter hook when I've never actually made a hahu with a 1.5 millimeter hook before. Such fun. At least if you're doing it with a bigger hook, it should be easier. Right, pull that red through. So I'm just going to do my decrease in these last two blues. Moving the red out the way. Swap over to red. And again, increase in the first. And that thread split, hang on. Can't be having a split thread. So there's my increase. Double crochet into any other reds and the first blue. Swap to blue. And then we're going to do our decrease in the first two blue and we're going to continue rounding that pattern until so we've got to a point where we've just got four blues between each red section and you'll notice that the blue is decreasing quicker because obviously we're decreasing at each end now this is where we come into the problem that i'm going to do my double crochet into that first blue one which only leaves us three blues, which we can decrease twice. So we have the option of double crocheting all three of those together, which is not very easy. Or we can do a secret decrease in the middle of the red. So if you prefer, you can do a decrease in the middle of the red instead of doing the three together. I'm still going to increase at the beginning of my red. So we only need that one increase in one decrease if we are doing three together. Oops, sorry, knocking my uh, phone holder again. So I'll show you that again and then we will do that all the way around. Just like before. So remember, into that first blue with the red, swap over to blue. And then we can move that out of the way, make it easier. And then we're going to do three together. Like that. Back to the red for that last pull through. And then increase with the red again. Oops. So carry on all the way around and I'll catch up with you then. Right, I've just completed that row. So I've got one blue and two, four, six, eight red on each one. So now what we're going to do, I've done my first red stitch. So I'm going to carry my blue over to the next blue um, stitch and I'm just going to double crochet 
in each stitch. It's a nice easy row this one. Oops. It is if you don't drop your stitch anyway. And stop that zooming in and out. So double crochet over. And then what we're going to do is those last two stitches before the blue, we're going to do an invisible decrease. We're not changing to blue though, we're going to keep it on red. So I'm going to tuck that blue out of the way now. We're not carrying that anymore, we're just going to leave it there. So now we're going to do seven double crochet and a decrease all the way around. So basically decreasing before that blue stitch and then just double crochet into the next blue stitch and decreasing just before it again. So there you go, we've got my two stitches before the blue stitch. So, oh. Decrease in there and then I'm going to carry on doing that all the way around. I've just finished that row and I'm back to the point where they, we left the blue thread before. I've pulled a nice long end because at this point I'm going to start adding a little bit of stuffing. Now I like to stuff these quite firm when they're made out of cotton because it can really take it. If you've made it out of acrylic yarn or wool or something <clears throat> you might not be able to stuff it too much because you can overstuff um woolen and acrylic things quite easily but when it's cotton it's quite robust and it really helps give it that nice shape so there we are so far so i'm just going to tuck that in do some more decreasing. Now you've got a choice here. If you're happy with that, you can just decrease in the bed. Now and just make it nice and easy for yourself. Um, so we've just done seven stitches and then a decrease. So this row, if you were doing that, you do six stitches decrease, then the next row, five stitches decrease and so on. Um, buy my glutton for punishment. So... I've left it ready to do my last, oh no, I haven't done too many, ready to do my last decrease. So, whoop. so I'm going to decrease that last red one and swap to blue. So we'll carry on the same as we did before. So we do an increase in the blue. Switch to the red, get the blue to stay out of the way. Make sure you give it a little tug, and then back to doing the decrease. And oops, I've had to switch the light on as well because it's starting to get a little bit dark in here. So I'm just going to double crochet, you'll have to excuse me, I'll drop stitches of light. So then I'm going to do my decrease just before my blue increase. Maybe I should have gone for the easy option, eh? Right. Blue, increase, pass the red over and then I'll just show you up to the next blue bit, so the red decrease again and then double crocheting across. Nope. 
three stitches. Doing that decrease, changing it to blue, and then doing your increase. And you're going to carry on doing that, and much like before, keeping up with the pattern. And I'll join you at the point where it changes again. We're nearly there. Now, we've got the problem where we've got two reds around each time. And obviously, that last stitch of the blue goes over the first stitch of the red. So, change to red. But, because that only leaves us one red stitch, we really don't want to be doing a decrease there. So, I'm going to do my red stitch. Because you don't want to decrease over two colours, it's just too messy. Change back to blue. And I'm going to do my increase in my blue, as usual, because we want that nice shape in. And then I'm going to do a double crochet. Like that. And then I'm going to do a decrease. There. Double crochet into that first red. Change over to red. And do that stitch. Right, I'm going to stay with you on this one because I realise it's a little unusual. So, blue. Do our increase. Now you'll notice we're only actually doing one decrease on this row. But it's just because it's too fiddly. But we can make up for it on the next row because the next row is just plain blue. Oh. Doesn't want to go. Oh, that's right. What am I doing? And blue in the first red. Don't know if your fingers are aching yet, but mine are. Don't know if I ever want to do another ha ho with a 1.5mm hook. I'm just hoping it's clear enough on the video for you all to see. Oh, dropped my stitch. Right, so that one double crochet. Decrease. Sorry about that. Double crochet into the first red with the blue and then switch to red before you finish the stitch as usual. One red. Back to blue. My cotton is in a right mess now. I'm all in a tangle. It's all over the floor. I do what it wants. I did have it sat on my desk all lovely and neat. That went to pop. Double crochet, decrease, decrease, and then into the first red. We're nearly there. Oop, swap to red. One red, back to blue, increase, double crochet in the next, oh and I've managed to pick up the red, 
that's what happens when you're looking at a screen instead of your hands briefly. And then decrease. And that first red, change to red for the last time. And I'm actually going to cut that off just because I'm in a tango and I don't want to be messing about. Right, so we've got our increase in this one just so that it matches up with the rest. Double crochet, decrease. I've got an extra bit of the stitch there, so I won't let me get into the next one. Still trying to work around that red without picking it up. And to the next red. Um, right, so now we're going to be crocheting over the red ones. So we're all blue. So what we're going to do. We've got two, four, six stitches all the way around. Two, four, six. So we're going to decrease, um, double crochet, decrease, double crochet on this row, I think. So let's have a look. Because we want two decreases to make up for not decreasing on the last row. So a decrease. the wrong stitch isn't it that one uh, yeah. decrease then you've got that double crochet into the red keep pulling the red because it doesn't get tangled up inside so decrease Double crochet, decrease, double crochet. At this point, I'm just going to tuck the rest of that red inside. So carry on doing that till we we'll get back round to that last red. So I've just gone over that last red with a double crochet. But we need to do this first row of blue. I hope first um, section. It's getting hard, I know it's getting smaller. So decrease again. Pick up. And squish them any way that makes it easier. Well, it's getting a bit small to get my finger in now. So then double crochet. Okay, so I ran out of recording time there. <laughs> so we're just going to finish off. I'll see if I can add the videos together when I um, post it. So we're just going to carry on going around with that um, decrease, decrease, single crochet, decrease. Now normally at this point we would be doing um, a decrease and then two single crochet but I want a nice flat bottom. So I want it to pull in nice and tight. Oops. So I'm just continuing with that double, uh, two together decrease. And then double crochet all the way around again. So 
Sorry, that's my bracelet banging against my desk. Oh, Mr. No, I didn't miss a these grace. Sorry. Decrease. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. So we've got one, two, three, four rows on that one, one, two, three. So four rows on that one. Five, sorry, five rows on that one and four on that one. So we'll just do the same decreasing on this row, on this section. And then I'm going to add, oops, sorry, a little bit more stuff in. Right, my favourite way to add a bit of stuff in when you get down small is to use a pair of tweezers. So, I have a nice chunky pair of tweezers somewhere that are absolutely brilliant for this job. So, a little bit more stuff in, so say you want to really stuff these cotton ones. They're quite hardy if you've done them nice and tight. If you've got achy hands, chances are you have. So I'm just shoving that in underneath. I can still feel there's a bit of space there, so I'm just going to add a little bit more. It's amazing how much stuff in you can get into a hair hole. We don't want a baggy bum, do we? Just a teeny bit more, I think. Have a feeling if it feels like there's any gaps. Shove a bit more in. Apparently you can get special tools for stuffing, but I don't think you can beat up a pair of tweezers. Right, so now what we're going to do is just decrease all the way around and this is where it gets trickier because that hole is tiny and he's stuffed and you might want to instead of doing the invisible decrease you might want to go through and do it this way so pull up your loop so you're going to do a double crochet, do the same with the next stitch and then pull it through. I often do that on the last row because it's just easier. And because I'm not doing it down to six stitches, because we've decreased slightly differently, it doesn't make it chunky. Out, nearly done. And when you get down to about eight or nine stitches, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got nine. I'm happy with that. Cut a thread and thread your needle appropriately sized for your cotton or whatever you're using and then what you're going to do is just get the outside loop of each of your stitches from that row before that you've just done 
and just thread it through. So you've got them all. Making sure you go through that first one. And then pull it nice and tight. I go through that hole. Come up somewhere a little bit different. Give it a good tug. And then I'll just sew my end in. Which I'm sure you all know how to do. If you're daft enough to be following a tutorial on how to make um, a check tahu anyway and then push it through pull it out somewhere completely different so that the end disappears inside and then give them a squish and there is our check tahu all finished I'd love to know how yours turn out.